Hey folks, today I'm working on the fencing. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can before it reaches triple digits. Yeah, it's morning. We're going to take advantage of the coolness while we have it. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I've been working for the past couple of months on the billy goat barn. We finally finished the structure except for a few minor details I have to do and finish up, but those can be in another video and those can wait because it's not urgent that I have to do it. But I really do want to get the fencing started and finished. There's only two fences I need to put up today. I need to put up this side fence here and I need to put up this top fence along here and then the billy or goats are now able to be released into their pasture. So I've got two rolls of field fencing. I'm only going to be used part of one roll. The other roll is to go across the back of these pastures right here because right now I have five strands of electric wire back up there. and. Uh, living in such dry conditions, I have to turn the electric fence off during the summer months because I'm so afraid they might spark a fire. And neither myself or my um, neighbors would appreciate that. So we're going to string a field fence across that and we'll put one electric wire across the top. But right now the goats have been accustomed to the electric wire being charged so they're respecting the fence right now. Even though it's off, but shh, don't tell them it's off. So as you can see I have my gate installed and I have these end pieces that support the, ga uh, the gate and to strengthen the post on which the fence will be tightened on. I just have to work on the one pole down at the billy goat uh, corral and then uh, work on this corner a little bit today and then we can start stringing fence. This is actually ready to string fence. I just need to put in uh, one T-post. Yeah, it just needs one T-post.
Okay, here's another fencing tool one must have uh, besides this one. Uh, this is my favorite fencing tool, my favorite kind. So what this does is it has different size holes there, plus it has a hole back there. But you can fit the holes and you can take that and bend it around. and do it with all of them.
And a good old tool for tightening fences will be the come along. So come along. Or two come alongs. Okay, when you buy rolls of fencing, uh, th they will give you bags of fence clips, which you're going to need to uh, fasten these to the T-post. And this is what the and this is what they look like. Let's go put one on.
like to put three clips on, one at the top, one at the bottom, and of course one in the middle. And this pretty much secures the fence. One down, five to go. And that's how I put up a field fence. Um, stay tuned to the uh, next fencing video. I'm going to share with you guys a, uh, a jerry-rigged trick for uh, winding those fence clips around. A lot easier. And it's simple. You might have it in your junk drawer or even in your workshop. So stay tuned to that video. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen, here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm on um, continuing the project of the Billy Goat Barn, but this one is on the fencing attached to that project. This is episode number 13, yep. All right, we'll, we'll do another episode. <laughs> you can count on it. Uh, you can stay tuned for those episodes by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That'll let you to new videos as I upload them. Also, be sure to click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out my channel. Another thing you can do is please like the channel, uh, like the show, that really helps. And also, uh, leave a comment uh, down below, ask me a question, give me a tip that's helpful. Hey, we'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm done. It's hot out here. I've got to go take a break and get in the air conditioning. Bye-bye. Thank you.